We are discussing skeleton of inferior limb and first long bone is femur. Femur. Here it is femur or femoral bone. Femoral bone consists of the corpus femoris. I touch this bone by the corpus femoris and two epiphysis. So this is distal epiphysis, this is proximal epiphysis and they serve to making a joint. Proximal epiphysis serves to make a hip joint. And what structures can we find here? First of all, caput femoris. Here it is. Caput femoris. Caput femoris. Here it is. Then collum femoris, collum femoris, here it is collum femoris. And two large processes which called trochanter major, trochanter major, here it is, trochanter major. And also trochanter minor, trochanter minor. Between Trochanter Meyer and Trochanter Minor, we can find linea intertrochanterica. Linea intertrochanterica. This is linea intertrochanterica. This is anterior surface of the femur and we can turn it by backside. So this is posterior surface of femur and on posterior surface you can find crista intertrochanterica. Here it is crista intertrochanterica. Crista intertrochanterica. Here it is. So, all these structures are structures on proximal epiphysis. I'd like also to demonstrate this small fova, fova capitis femoris, fova capitis femoris. It serves for connections with a special ligament which is placed inside of the hip joint this is ligamentum capitis femoris. It connects with this fova capitis femoris. Here they are, these structures. And now let us discuss the structures which we can find on the corpus femoris. This is corpus femoris from both sides, from anterior side and from posterior side. And on posterior side we can find linea aspera. Here it is, linea aspera. On posterior surface of the femur. And linea aspera consists of two labia, labium mediale, labium mediale and labium laterale. How can we distinguish medial labium and lateral labium? Because the caput femoris and column femoris is oriented Medially, so this is medial labium, labium mediale, and this is lateral labium, labium laterale. When on distal epiphysis they diverse in different parts, laterally and medially, we can find here on the uh, distal epiphysis facies 
Poplitea, here it is, the most, uh, the most inferior written. Faces poplita. Faces poplita. Now, let's find all the structures on the distal epiphysis. Congilus medialis and congilus lateralis. They are here, congilus uh, medialis and congilus lateralis. Between them, we can find fossa intercongilaris. Fossa intercongilaris. Fossa intercongilaris. Here it is. And uh, except congilus medialis and lateralis, we can find epicondylus lateralis and epicondylus medialis. They served for attachment of special ligaments, ligamentum collaterale tibiale and ligamentum collaterale fibulare. And last detail which we should know is this. It's called facies patellaris because here a special small sesamoid bone is uh, contact contacts its patella. So facies patellaris, facies patellaris. Thank you.